welcome to episode three, The Box Art Paradox. Hang on to your hats, got a good question for you. How do you choose your models to build? I reckon it's the box art. Sure, we've all got our favourite brands. Tamiya, ah. And the ones to avoid? Italeri, ah. We might have a specific subject or a scale we prefer or a type of aircraft we desire, but I still reckon it's the box art that sells it. Modern marketing has all its devices at hand to lure us in to buy that kit, but nothing can beat the beauty of an airplane in flight. Here's the thing, and I'm revealing both my stash with these box art photos and my biases here, but 98% of box art show the aircraft in flight. All right, there's some exceptions, and as you can see, all box art used to lure you in to buy this particular kit is in flight with a pilot at the controls, usually some sort of action, a dogfight, a bomb run, or a, an epic maneuver. But how do we actually model them? 98% of all aircraft models that I see end up on the ground, wheels down. Now, don't get me wrong, I can see why you'd want to do the occasional ground display. I'm just about to start one myself, depicting a scramble of RAF pilots during the Battle of Britain. Another setting, and the one used by most, is the aircraft's on the tarmac getting maintained, which to be honest, if we use that 98% figure again, is how most aircraft live out their life. Or maybe on a carrier deck for a nice action diorama. Time in the air is brief. Yeah, that's how it's advertised by the kit manufacturers. The question then becomes, why? Why do we model them wheels down? I've raised this before in a few places and the answers that I've been given, excuses really, although some are valid, include the following. First of all, if it's in flight, it means you need a pilot, and painting pilots is hard. It's even harder when the kit doesn't even have a bloody pilot. Secondly, the modeler wants to show off all the detailing and painting they've done in the cockpit. Now that would all be lost if the canopy was closed. Fair enough, kind of. Third. The modeler also wants to show off all these open panels. These modern kits seem to have every access panel is open, the engine's available to be seen, the radar's there, the gun bays can be open. It's tantalising to keep them all open. Final concerns are to get a lifelock representation of repeller spin in the jets, but the two biggest ones, I think, are closing those wheel wells with a nice and flush and working out a way to display the thing since no kits these days seem to have a display stand. Anyway, it's time to go back in time. This is where it started for me, airfix, like a lot of other people. 170 seconds Spitfire, I did this uh, brush painted and I had a, an old display stand that I found and I put it up, wheels up, and I thought, oh, I'll do another one, and another one, and another one. And I used the Academy Hexagon display stands, and I was very happy. Time to move up from braille scale. Up, oh, I hit a brick wall. Stay with some Airfix 148 and Hobby Boss and Tamiya and even Academy. But it wasn't as easy. No wheels up option, barely any decent pilots, and my frustration grew. I came up with some of my own solutions, but mainly I went to aftermarket and tried different flight stands and started to have a go at painting pilots. This frustration that I felt was just not shared by my fellow modelers and the local group and club I went to and the online forums. I also got the undercurrent of, hmm, I just don't like aircraft in flight. What? They're beautiful. Look at them, flying. That's how they're supposed to be. It's like looking at a supermodel on a fashion runway and going, hmm, I just like her for her clothes. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Nudge, 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 nudge. Know what I mean? Say no more. Know what I mean? I beg your pardon? So that's the paradox. Beautiful aircraft in flight on the box, build them all on the ground out of the box. Getting on to who is really at fault though, I don't think the manufacturers are going to help out in this respect. In fact, the trend seems to be going the other way, over-engineering a kit so every panel is open, every internal bit is available for inspection. We see this in the new Zuke Mora kits, of which I have a couple and I will enjoy building. It seems the feedback to the manufacturers from us modelers is translating into just, can you make us a three-wheeled vehicle sits on an aircraft tarmac, happens to have an aircraft engine in the back? I mean, Hobby Boss, for example, and Trumpeter, 
their parent company, they go to all this great effort to make beautiful engines, full engines, so you can really tie it up with some wiring. That's for the F14. Or for the F111 series. I mean, these are gorgeous. Love engines. But you don't see them. They just get buried in the fuselage. Now, can you just add a nozzle, a spare nozzle, so we can display them outside? Or even still, don't put them in. Put the nozzles in, put a display stand in, add a pilot. That sounds like an idea. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Okay, okay. There are some solutions. To me, the best models out there for aircraft modelers are Tamiya's range of World War II fighters. These have exquisite internal and external detail, superb engineering and fit, and they give you the option as displayed on the box art. Wheels up, seated pilot, and a proper display stand. They haven't continued this with their new Mosquito, although it does have a seated pilot, but no wheels up or display stand options. This is disappointing, but most modelers tend to build these wheels down anyway. They have one problem, of course. They're bloody expensive. A new entrant into the western sphere of hobby making is Bandai with their new Star Wars kits. All of these have display bases, flight stands, or you can have them landing pads down if you want. They have exquisite engineering. They have seated pilots and standing. And they're just brilliant kits overall. The other entrant is Revell of Germany. They've just started a new series of new tooled Luftwaffe World War II aircraft. And surprisingly, no pilots, but they do come with good wheel wells and display stands. So that's a trend I want to see continue. So finally, after that little rant, and I'm sure there's lots of you disagreeing with me right now and saying, Chris, just build the bloody thing wheels down, get over yourself, you know? And that's fine, title to your opinion, but I love aircraft. I love them in flight. Now, what I'm gonna be doing next is, come. there's an upcoming group build for the Scale Modeler Critique group on Facebook starting 1st of March, and my choice is Academy's F-22 Raptor in 148 scale. Yes, I was sold on the box art. Yes, the box art is gorgeous. F-22, shooting a missile, in flight, pilot there. And that's how I'm gonna build it. Sucked in by that box art, I didn't realize after buying this kit that you can display the wheel wells closed and the weapons bays open or closed. Which means, huzzah. Excellent, excellent. Boxer Paradox. Agree with me, disagree with me, don't care, it's all good. Enjoy your modelling and I'll leave you with this scene from my all-time favourite movie that should answer the question a lot better than I can. And with that, happy modelling. Which world will you choose? I just want to create beautiful airplanes. Like that? even have an engine or a cockpit yet. Bravo! A beautiful dream. Alright, take bloody three. Right, had enough? Okay. Bloody video that's going on and on and on. And happy modeling.